Ni hao, or hello in Chinese, and uh, welcome to Music Sprouts and the Great China Excursion. My name is Yaping, and I will be your guide on this journey. Welcome to China, land of dragons and emperors, a place where the old and the new come together to make a beautifully diverse country. China has the longest continuous history of any country in the world. 3,500 years of reading history. And even 3,500 years ago, China's civilization was old. A land where dynasties ruled, some lasting for centuries. Pottery pieces found in a cave in the South China Cave have been confirmed to be 20,000 years old making them the oldest known pottery in the world. All lands are under the watch of heaven was a basic principle of the dynasties that unified China as a nation. The emperor, called the son of heaven, gave titles to the rulers of neighboring lands, bringing together regions and ethnic groups under one administration. Historically, the Chinese dragon was associated with the Emperor of China and used it as a symbol to represent imperial power. The founder of the Han Dynasty Liu Bang claimed that he was conceived after his mother dreamed of a dragon. Many Chinese emperors considered themselves to be descended from dragons. China has a diversity of religions which have helped shape the culture of what is called today the People's Republic of China. China is famous for many things about it has been the source of many innovations, scientific discoveries and inventions. The four great inventions of China include gunpowder, the compass, papermaking, and the printing. Even the kite, the umbrella, rockets, the toothpaste, and the paper money come from China. In China, you will find the Himalayas, the world's most elevated mountain range, including its highest peak, Mount Everest. The melting snow from the mountains create the headwaters for the Yangtze and the Yellow Rivers. A land rich with history, you will find the Great Wall of China. The Forbidden City. And the Imperial Palace. The Terracotta Soldiers. The Summer Palace in Beijing. And the World Heritage Site, the Le Shan Giant Buddha in Sichuan. You could also visit the Zhang Jiajian National Forest Park in Hunan Province, an area of stunning beauty whose unique rock formations inspired the movie Avatar. Or perhaps you will visit Chengdu, home of the giant panda, a Chinese national treasure. The panda is what is known as a Chinese specialty. It is understood to be a representative of the remains of ancient animals known as a living fossil.
Martial arts find their origin in China as well. The martial arts are thought to have developed as methods for hand-to-hand -hand combat, used by ancient Chinese soldiers. According to legend, the martial arts were introduced in China by the Yellow Emperor during the Xia Dynasty many years ago. With such a rich heritage, music, art, and culture, China is an utterly unique, magical place. Traveling southeast from Beijing, we find one of San Antonio's sister cities, Wuxi. A sister city or twin town is a named agreement between certain towns, cities, provinces, or countries around the world. The cities make an agreement or partnership with another city. Wuxi has been a sister city to San Antonio since 2012. Sister cities might help one another when one is in need. The relationship is a voluntary forging of ties to encourage cultural understanding, friendship, and exchange, as well as more practical things like uh, trade agreements and business partnerships. Let's explore this beautiful city and its art and culture. Today, we will explore some traditional Chinese musical instruments. Guzheng is one of traditional musical instruments in China. It's popular since the warring period more than 2,500 years ago. Guzheng is a kind of plucked instrument with 21 strings. It can be played by various ways, such as flower fingers and sweeping fingers. With fingers running over the strings, the music flows out like water. High Mountain and Flowing Water is a representative work of Guzheng. It has a beautiful story about friendship between a talented musician and a great listener.
Di Zi is a bamboo flute widely used in many genres of Chinese folk music, as well as Chinese opera. It has a rich history of over 2,000 years and is, is one of China's oldest and well-known instruments. Di Zi is made of bamboo. In Chinese culture, bamboo is a symbol of oriental beauty. It represents the character of moral integrity, modesty, and loyalty. It also stands as an example of elegance. Therefore, in ancient times, Li Zi was preferred by swordsmen and men of letters. There are two main types, Bang Di and the Chu Di. Bang Di is shorter, with their bright tones, is suited for lively, northern styles of playing. Chu Di is suited for the lyrical melodies of the South. Erhu, a kind of bold instrument, is the most representative one in the Chinese traditional folk musical instrument. You can see it as a Chinese violin. Erhu has a long history of more than 1,000 years. It can imitate many natural sounds, such as bird and horse. Since the classic Erhu music work, horse raising, is a joyful melody. As a very expressive instrument, Erhu can also play melancholy tunes. In Wuxi, Abi, a blind musician, created the famous piece of music, Moonlight on the Second Spring, which shows his domestic affection. Besides, there are many famous Erhu musicians in Wuxi. For example, Liu Tianhua, he adapted the traditional Erhu and learned from violin. He makes Erhu famous worldwide.
Do you know this kind of dance? It's called Xinjiang dance. Let me introduce it to you. It comes from Uyghur, so we can also call it Uyghur dance. Uyghur dance is divided into self-entertainment dance, custom dance, and performing dance. Self-entertainment dance and custom dance have performance and religious factors. After long-term development and evolution, it forms various and special arts. Now, Uyghur dance is popular all over Xinjiang. The dance is lively, beautiful, and brisk. Female dance is beautiful and extended, while male dance is vigorous and strong with a vigorous and powerful with a strong Western region style. The Xinjiang people are very warm and enthusiastic. When they pull you in to dance with them, don't be shy. Just enjoy yourself and dance with them. Hi, I'm Jiang Yuhao from Wuxi Song and the Dance Cell. Today, I'm very happy to share with you a clip of Chinese classical dance. Chinese classical dance can trace its roots to coarse dance in ancient China, or even folk dance in primitive times. Since the early 1950s, after the founding of New China, dance professionals extracted dance elements from the rich Chinese opera performances and uh, martial arts and uh, referred to ballet training methods, thus establishing a set of courses for Chinese classical dance. Now, let me point out some of the highlights. When the dancers come to the stage, they make a bow with hands folded in front. This is a gesture to show respect when greeting with each other in ancient China. Put your left hand in front and the right hand in the back. Relax and bow. Please note, never put your right hand in front of your left hand. The following are four key points in Chinese classical dancing. First, twist your body and lean to one side. This is a sense posture in Chinese classical dance. Just as you can see from the clip, the dancers lean to their right side. Remember to twist a little when leaning to one side. Second, turn the elbow when making arm gestures. In Chinese classical dance, we often turn the elbow so that our arms look longer. In the clip, 
You can find some hand gestures like double palm, palm spreading. Third, walk diagonally forward. In classical dance, we walk in this way in almost all the dances. When we lift our foot, we can't walk towards the audience directly. Instead, we turn diagonally and move in that direction. This change in direction fully tells the aesthetic style of classical dance. Fourth, when turning around, keep your upper body to your audience a little longer. For many turning movements in Chinese classical dance, we need to lift upper body in the front a bit longer instead of turning from the front to the back swiftly. Let me show you, after turning around, twist the body and lean to one side. This is a brief introduction of Chinese classical dance. The Chinese culture is broad and profound, and there are plenty to offer. I hope you can like Chinese culture and classical dance. Thank you for joining us on our Great China excursion. Thank you.